Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss that is the 8th question. What is the probability that a randomly thrown dot hits the square board in a shaded region? So randomly thrown wall or so randomly thrown dot. So let's take one dot thrown from here to here. It should touch only this shaded region. So what is the probability to touch that one here? Take pi as 22 by 7 and express in percentage. So let's take, if you want to touch this shaded region, we have to take one thing. The shaded region will be area. So area of shaded region. So shaded region will be equal to, you have to take area of square, area of square minus area of circle. So area of circle. So here this dot thrown. So let's take this is the one dot thrown from here. To, it need to touch this. So for that area of shaded region will be equal to area of square minus area of circle. Area of square will be equal to side into side. Then area of circle will be pi r square. So what is the radius here? So this is the radius. Radius will be equal to 2 centimeter. Then what is this side? The side will be equal to so let's take this is the side. So from here to there. So this is the side. So it is exactly cutting here. So this is 2 means this is also 2. Then totally what is this? 4. 4 centimeter. Here 4 centimeter. Here also 4 centimeter. So we are going to find what is the area of square. So area of square. So area of square will be equal to side into side that is 4 into 4 that is 16 centimeter square then what is the area of circle that the area of circle will be equal to pi r square area of circle will be equal to pi r square that pi will be equal to 22 by 7 as question told that is set in pi will be 22 by 7 then r square will be that is r will be what is the radius 2 that is 2 square. So here what is the radius? Radius will be equal to 2 centimeter. So let's take here 22 by 7 into 4. So 4 to the 8 and 88 by 7. So this is the value. You can keep like that. Then what is the area of shaded region? That is area of shaded region is area of shaded region will be equal to area of square minus area of circle. So area of this shaded region will be from square if you subtract circle then you will get the shaded region. So area of square will be equal to 16 then area of circle will be 88 by 7. 88 by 7. Then what you will get here is 16 into let's take LCM 7 minus 88 by 7. So 16 7 is 112. So, 112 minus 88 by 7. So, what we will get here? So, let's take. So, 812. That is 112 minus 88 by 7. So, that one. 112 minus 88 by 7. So, what you will get here? The 24 by 7. So, 24 by 7. Then, Then what is the probability region? So shaded region. So let's take probability of event that is number of favorable outcomes by total area. Total that is shaded area. Shaded area by area of square that is total area. Total area will be area of square so you can see here total area will be area of square only then what is the shaded region 24 by 7 whole divided by total area is what 16 so what is the 16 so you can take 24 by 7 into reciprocal for this 1 by 16 you can cancel with uh, 4 4 za 4 6 za so here 6 by 7 that is 1 by 4. So 6 by 7 into 1 by 4. 
you can do with one more thing so two two za then two three za that is three by seven into two that is three by seven two za fourteen so we have to express probability in so probability in percentage so probability in percentage percentage will be equal to that is three by fourteen into hundred percentage percentage means we have to percent we have to express multiply with the hundred so three hundred by fourteen three hundred by fourteen percentage so fourteen ones are then fourteen twos are twenty eight then to twenty will come fourteen ones are fourteen then again six will come point sixty 14 fours are 56 fours are 10 20 will come again 14 twos are so it will go like this so 300 by what is that 300 by 14 you will get 21.428 something it will go so what is that 21.428 percentage so percentage of probability percentage so probability percentage will be equal to 21.428. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.